Hi everyone, this is Sam Denson with the second look at Guy's X-Ray Wisdom. In the 17th century, slavery was an accepted industry in England. By the time Britain finally abolished the slave trade in 1807, British merchants had taken at least 3 million people from their countries and made them slaves in the New World. This horrific practice was possible because British traders chose to value the opportunity to make money over the lives of anyone with darker skin than theirs. People everywhere were twisting their morals and logic to rationalize supporting slavery. In fact, even some Christians twisted passages from the Bible to justify the cause. In a culture that was okay with African slavery, a small group of Christians were among the first to denounce the slave trade. As early as the 1670s, God gave Quakers in the New World the calling to denounce slavery as an unbiblical and inhumane practice. By the mid-1750s, they had made it illegal for any Quaker to own a slave or take part in the slave trade. In the United Kingdom, it was Quakers who started the abolitionist group that led the country to ban the slave trade. The Quakers spoke out against a cultural reality so common that no one else was questioning it. With God's help, they saw past the appearance of the slave trade as a source of profit and straight to the heart of the matter, the dignity of every human life as a gift from God. Though buying and selling human beings is no longer legal, the struggle to see others through God's lenses instead of our own has never disappeared. We continue to need God's wisdom to intersect with our limited human perception to give us a heavenly perspective on the world around us, even if it means challenging the way things are. Here are some questions to make it go, hmm. Have you ever seen someone mistreat or disrespect another person based on his or her appearance, position, or background? What did it feel like to watch that happen? Have you ever spoken out against this kind of injustice? If so, what happened? In what situations from your daily life does following God's wisdom seem to challenge the status quo of the world around you? How can a Christian challenge the status quo in a godly way like the Quakers did? All right, y'all, that's our second look. Remember that as followers of Christ, we are called to challenge evil in the world with God's wisdom and his strength. He calls us to do this together. So I hope to see you on Saturday at 11 a.m. for our weekly team gathering. Have a great week.